What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. We are in the Silverado and the cab, and we were about to, you know, finish this up real quick. The quick uh, blow through beauty panel. So when you do a blow through, and um, you cut your bed, and you know your porch slides through, you actually really need to seal it off. No air whatsoever go through the back, um, because then you're losing pressure inside your cab, and then you're losing like smoothness um, and DBs, I guess you can say of your blow through if i didn't have the beauty panel or the front panel to close it off the system would be a lot louder if i had the tailgate down and the bed cover off because all that pressure would be released and it'll let it you know play smoothly but now if i have the beauty panel um put on and not letting no you know air whatsoever go to the back man this thing is going to be you know jamming ridiculous so that's what the point of today is we're going to go ahead and cover this guy up make it look nice because it does look ugly um, and we wanted to you know produce the best you know base that we possibly can so in order for my panel to actually sit flat I have to cut these things off I'm gonna probably have to take these things off completely uh, there's three of them so I have to look for like a t47 or a t50 something like that cut these off with the air saw and I think that's pretty much gonna be it guys then we can put our piece going from side to side trim it so it drops down pretty good back here i think we're gonna have to notch her out just so the seat bracket can go back in and we can put this bolt down and i think after that we can do our lip then you know put our piece in here uh rough draft cut it then run the router in it so we get a nice straight cut man so we a few moments later We just really just cut strips out and just staple them and it actually gives us a lip better to uh, screw into when it gets mounted versus it just going into the port and split in the wood along the way so it's actually pretty good so now all we have to do is just cut a piece side to side um, width wise and height once it sits pretty good we are going to go ahead and trace out a rough draft hole uh, we're going to cut the bulk of it out and then we're going to go ahead and screw it to the actual port then we're going to come in here with the router and flush router it out so it's like pretty dead on gang so it's it's like no fails you see what i'm saying it's going to look really good um it's going to serve its purpose again to you know not let any pressure go back into the sides um and then it's going to be pretty you know out so we can still pass our like zero gauge our rca speaker or whatever we need to run from the bed inside the cab gang so looking good um let's get on it got a uh, good um, cutouts there back and forth so this did have ears once upon a time but I need to be able to get all the bolts in for the seat so I just sliced it although you'll never see that um, it's still straight uh, this part you will see so what I'm actually gonna do on this portion is I'm just gonna like uh, tape this off glue it and then glue carpet on top of that so you don't see it whatsoever and i think it'll still look good and tuck the carpet underneath the black plastics and then this will sit on top of it and i am going to put like a chamfer on it like an angle so it looks like it has like a slope and i think it should be good but for right now man i got my rough draft cut right here 
and I'm about to make a mess inside the truck because I'm gonna flush router this guy out so it's like dead on perfect. The beauty panel for the blow through it is in like I said I'm gonna wrap with wood I'm gonna wrap it in vinyl and that top lip right underneath the plastic is gonna get black carpet just so it can keep that you know factory look um, and I'm gonna like brush uh, use a brush and put glue on on that side and then put glue um, on the other side of the carpet and then just like stuff it in there and then like lay it down to like the contours of like those bolts and everything's just so it has like more of a factory look and so when we put the the beauty panel on top of it man it looks like it's made for it you see what i'm saying like it's it's gonna look good it's gonna serve its purpose and like i said i had to cut those ears down there in the bottom corners out just so we can be able to get those uh, bolts in for the seats we need all the seats bolted down man we are like 97 percent done with woodworking fabrication guys probably by this time next week the truck needs to be fired up playing pretty much complete guys because the florida classics is the following weekend you see what i'm saying we just have the rest of this weekend and the rest of that next week and that is it it's perfect look it's right up against it and i'm telling you if we would have done that half inch going all the way up i don't think it would have fit so i think we made the best decision chopped it chopped it along the bottom because it's actually cutting it to real close down there it still looks good the purpose of it to block any of the the air going back man that's that's checked off the list stuff in the carpet on here it's gonna look fantastic guys i, I really can't wait man it's getting close to it we only got two things left to do eight inch spacers control panel woodworking is done all right so that's it for today youtube man dang i can't believe it's coming down to the very last few days week to finish this truck man it has been a lot of hard work but the days are counting down and man i can't wait i know you can't man we're gonna be jamming just a matter of uh five days probably we'll be jamming man so with that being said hope you guys have a good night man stay excited stay on top of these videos because the magic's about to happen i'll catch you guys tomorrow man peace